Real genuine. I got the chicken coop in the background. And I talk out of the side of my mouth. Now I really got some country creds here. I'm just somebody, some guy. Somebody knows. Here's a story about a man. No matter where he goes, he's always just some guy, Lord. Somebody knows. Doom, 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 likes music methods. Come on in, y'all. I'm excited to teach you guys today some Todd Day Wait. This song is called Who's That Fella? And you can check out him playing it live by the river in that Western AF um, YouTube channel. I don't really know this. I didn't know this song at all. But of course, Dusty, again, comes in with a great sponsorship. So Dusty, everyone thank Dusty for sponsoring this song. And so I had never heard it, and I just kind of dove in, started learning it. Forgive me, I'm flat picking on a, on, a, on a nylon string this lesson. What am I doing? But guys, if you're old here, you know what's happening already. If you're new to Mike's Music Method, come on in. What we're going to do is a measure-by-measure measure breakdown of the song. I hold your hand, measure-by-measure, measure, help you out. You're going to learn this. It is a in-the-middle kind of flat-picking tune. I have a flat-picking plicking, flat playlist up here. Remember, flat pick's just a fancy word for pick, pick. So check out that playlist. This is not a beginner one, but it's not super hard either. Um, a couple of notes I'll give you in a minute about technique stuff before we dive in. But um, that's it. It's Todd Day Wait. Dusty, thank you so much. I do also want to announce I got a new website coming soon. I also have my ebook. I'm working on the graphics now called Strum It Like a Cowboy, and it's all about strumming. So sign up for the newsletter in the description underneath this video if you want to stay up to date on that. And also, I'm like new to this thing, but everyone's telling me to do a Discord. So I have a Discord channel. Also, will be linked down below. If you guys want to join, it'll be a great way to keep in touch. And um, without further ado, Todd Day Wait, let's just get to it. Oh, and timestamps. Timestamps are down below. They're your best friend. At the end of this video, anytime you learn a bit, a little bit, jump to the end and I will do a whole slow run through of each section of the song at the end. So use that to jump around if things are too repetitive. If you're a more advanced player, you might want to skip ahead a bit. You get the idea? Let's do it. <laughs> Mike's music method. In the intro, I played it with my fingers, but you should probably be using a pick. Some quick notes. Hold the pick really light. You want to brush it, right? You're not, if you hold it too firm, it sounds horrible. So let there be a lot of resistance. Pick. And then a light brushing, both ways, loose grip. Boom, measure one. You can use your fingers if you want to. He's using a pick, so I'm going to play through it with a pick. I know that's like kind of a, almost a sin to play a pick on a nylon string, but I don't have a steel string. If, you, if anyone wants to donate me one, that'd be great. You can donate via, you know, PayPal, Patreon. <laughs> Get me a nice steel string, please. So I don't have to commit this in. So measure one is a G chord. And he's picking down on the sixth string. And then he's brushing up. You're kind of aiming for the second and, sorry, the third and the fourth string. If you hit the second, that's okay. But just hitting those two. So down, up. Then I'm hammering open to two on the fifth string. Then brushing up again. Measure two is a C chord. It's actually doing down, up, down, up the entire time. Picking down, up, down, up. So just hit the fifth string, up, down, up. So when you just pick that fifth, I'll only make this note once, but it's going to happen all the time in the song. A little technique note. When I pick that fifth, even though I'm just picking it, normally I would just do that with very little follow through. Here I'm going to do a big follow through because I'm doing a, a quick up strum right afterwards. So that might feel awkward if you're new to this kind of technique. So pick with a big follow through, up, down, up, pick, up, down, up, and then we have 
six string, so I'm moving that ring finger up to get the six, then a quick up, then open on the fifth string, up, and I am going to lift that finger up, otherwise I kind of get in the habit of muting that string, because when you do the C slash G, you usually do mute the fifth string, but here we want that A to sound open, so I'm getting that finger out of the way. So that whole measure, three, four, pick. Measure three, starts the same, pick five, up, down, up. Then we have to lift, I'm actually lifting both my ring finger and my middle, because we're gonna hit the fourth string open. We're gonna sound that D, but I'm still holding that first fret down. So we're still on a C chord, just giving it a different walking bass line. So pick the fourth open, up strum on the second and third string there. Then I'm hitting the fourth string with the second fret down, so that's a note E. Picking it up. So D, E, open two. So that whole measure. And I guess I never told you, sorry, when I'm doing that C chord, I'm picking five, and then I'm aiming to strum two, three, and four. Again, there's some variation, so you don't have to be nuts about it, but at the same time, it also would be nuts about it because even if you're not doing it exactly how he is, you want to get that right hand, you want to get in the habit of making it as accurate as possible. C chord, I'm always aiming for the second, the third, and the fourth string when I'm strumming. Cool. Let's go to measure four. We've got an F chord, and you don't need the full F, at least for this one. Later on in the song, he does hit all of them, so if you're in the habit of that, great. If you're one of those people that hates playing the big bar, you can do it like this. So I have, it's the big bar, but basically I'm not doing the bar, right? I'm lifting it, and I'm just fretting the second string, first fret. So I'm doing the inside strings. I'm not, not bothering about the high E or the low E. Just makes it a little easier on the wrist. This one is four, up, down, up, four, up, down, up. And there I'm just hitting the second and third string. And then it's five, up, five, up. And those ups there can be a little bigger. If you want, if you think you might miss, then you can bar those two. So I'm just big F bar, but leaving that one blank. Again, if you want to do the whole thing, you can. So it's four up, down, up, five up, five up. Somebody, some guys gotta know. I think in order to be a real, real country musician, you gotta talk with, out of the side of your mouth like this. Then people really think you're a genuine country artist. I'm just somebody, some guy, ought to know. Where does that come from? Now, people? Is that because like, they're used to like having straw in their mouth that they talk like this all the time? And in that measure is when he starts singing. And we'll put the lyrics and the vocals in it in a second and give you placement. But measure five, we got a funny little walk here. He's on a G chord. So we got picking six, down, up. So it's a, a hit, down, up. It's not a quick up right after. It's one, two, and. So pick, down, up. Then he actually hits the third fret. He hits a C there, third fret on the A string. But then he strums up, and those ups are open and open. So even though he's hitting that note C, he's still kind of doing the opens of like he's on the G chord. So I'm just doing pick, down, up. And it's kind of a low down up there. I'm hitting five, four, and three, but whatever you want to do there. Then I'm kind of lifting everything, just hitting that third fret on the fifth string, and I'm strumming up on just three and four, and I'm hammering open to two on the D string. Then we hit open on the third string. So the second half of that measure is third fret up, quick hammer on, then the open the G. And notice what I'm doing there, it's a down pick, up strum, down pick and then an up pick to get that last melody note. So the ending is the hammer on's a down pick and then I'm doing an up pick. And it might not seem important now, but when you get it up to speed, the whole idea is that you're doing this the entire time. It might be a strum and it might be two strings, two different strings, lower strum, higher strum. But what you want to get going is this fulcrum idea or pendulum where your right hand is always doing this and you're not breaking that. 
So that whole measure is three, four. Six, we go to an F. You don't have to do the big F again if you don't want to. Four, down, up, five, up, five, up. So pretty similar to the other one. Back to the G, slightly different walk here. Pick, down, up. And I'm doing open on the A string here. And the second fret on the A string. So six, down, up, fifth, up. Fifth again on the second fret. And it kind of has a big strum at the beginning there, followed by a really light brushing, maybe on two and three. Then we do five up, five up, big strum, down up, five up, five up. Measure nine is a G. One more time, that's a six. So it's different. So let me explain it. Six, then brush down up. Then I'm doing six up, five up. And that's all on a G chord. Six down up, six up, five up, six down up, six up, five up. A quick note at the ending with this this is what we just did so far is like the intro, but this is also played again at the end of the song. So just make a note of that in the tab. That would be where we would jump to the coda the second time we do it. But here we're going to keep going, and I promise a few more measures, then we'll put the lyrics in so you can kind of see where we're at in the song. We have measure 10 as an F chord. And we'll start breezing through the song pretty quick because it starts to repeat. I won't be this long-winded once we get the technique stuff down. So a big F again. Yeah, we've seen 10 before. It was the same as 8. To a G. That's where we walk from the A to B. Back to the C here in measure 12. We've seen that one before too. And then 13 is a little bit different. We've got picking five, up, down, up on a C chord. Five, up, down, up. I'm lifting my ring finger to get that low E string, strumming up again. And then I'm just gonna move the chord. Uh, sharp the second fret on the low E so it's pick up down up six up six pick up down up six up six let's take it from the top do everything that we've learned so far and I will put the lyrics in there so for measure one three four the phrasing over the lyrics. Uh, we'll do slow run-throughs again at the end of the song. Let's keep going. <laughs> Donation pitch. Guys, I put a lot of time into this channel. Time, talent, treasure. Focus on it. I try to get the best tabs out there. The best tabs I can possibly do. Sometimes I do think that there are no joke the best tabs on the internet. Certainly the best, you know, free tab for educational purposes. Um, so that's what I do, and I put a lot of time into making these videos and getting them all out there. So if you guys are learning from the channel and getting value, it's the value for value model. What are these videos worth to you? Maybe it's 20 bucks a month. Maybe every time you learn a song from me, you're giving me 25 bucks. The honor system would be like 10 bucks. 10 bucks a song is, is a good place to start. And that's it. Uh, it keeps these videos free. I could be doing a paywall. I don't want to do the paywall model because I know there are tons of people out there that just can't prioritize music financially in their life right now and I totally understand that. I've been there in my life where there were times in my life I couldn't afford lessons or whatever. So I get that. But those of you who can chip in, please do and and keep in mind it's like a it's it's darn near a charitable giving because 
If you are buying me time to make these videos, then we're able to keep it free for everybody else, for the masses, for the people who can't pitch in. And that's the value for value model. So one way to frame it is what if all my videos disappeared from the internet? You might go, dang, man, I could have given Mike 50 bucks a month to keep it going, 20 bucks a month. That's one way to frame it. I mean, can you buy me, you know, at least a cup of coffee? If I teach you this whole entire song, that's at least worth a cup of coffee, right? Maybe. Um, another thing to note is there might be this misconception that because there's ads on these videos, I'm making like a lot of money. <laughs> and I'll be frank at this stage in the game, like, yes, my channel is monetized. I really don't put a bunch in there. I know YouTube can add more, so I don't know how many you're seeing. Um, but even in like a half an hour video, I might put three or four. And I always do the skippable five second ads. So that's like 20 seconds of your time. Um, so I'll be, I'll be frank, like I'm making... 130 bucks and actually I don't think I'm supposed to say this beep I'm supposed to beep that out I don't know that I'm supposed to tell you but it's it's peanuts okay for the amount of time I put in I assure you it's it's uh <laughs> it's like mowing the lawn for a you know a neighbor when you're like a teenage kid on the weekend that's the kind of ad revenue I'm making so the channel is 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 funded and made possible by your support so keep that in mind all right, let's, without further ado, let's keep going with the tune. Bing! Super brief interruption to thank all my patrons. Holy moly, guys, you guys are awesome. There's over 100 people right now chipping in on Patreon, and you guys. And so it goes without saying, this channel is made possible by everyone who has pitched in. My hat's off. And my heart goes out to all you guys, all the patrons, um, people donating on Patreon, pa Patreon, PayPal, you know, I'll, I'll, link, I'll link down below. You guys are making this happen. I also have a P.O. box. If you snail mail me a check in the P.O. box or even write me a lovely letter, I'll give you a Christmas card at the end of the year. That's the Malaro promise, all right? Um, so those are the ways you can chip in. But, dude, all you patrons, you guys are amazing. You warm my heart. Everyone who's chipped in, I also am giving out a little PDF um, how to get better at guitar and the steps you can take. I don't want to put too much bonus stuff behind a paywall because I do want to keep this value for value. But I am giving, I'm, I'm sprinkling in some goodies for, for all the long and awesome support you guys have been throwing my way. And anyone who did not get that PDF, I know some people are donating on PayPal. And I've made the mistake of not collecting all your emails. So please write me an email and I promise I will send over that PDF, okay? Awesome. Be well, you guys. Let's keep going with this song. Measure 14. We've got an E chord. A couple things to note. He's just doing six down, up, five, up, five, up, all on an E major. Occasionally, he's, he's hitting all of them. Um, so just keep that in mind. Sometimes he's giving it a big strum instead of just a six string. Next measure, 15. Some little bass movement, six, down, up. Then he lifts his middle finger here to get open on the fifth string, up, and then he puts it back down. Open two, then back to a C chord here in 16. We've seen that before. 17 is a little different. Mess that up. And we saw that at the intro too on the C chord, right? Five, up, five, up, open on four, second fret on four. Then 18's an F. Here you can be kind of loose. He's just hitting some low strings, then strumming down, up, then just hitting the fifth string. Up, down, up, hit, down, up, fifth, up, down, up, six, down, up, five, up, down, up. And it's kind of heavy on that six. Back to a G and 19. Same with 21. Well, 21 is a little different. He kind of adds this open. It almost seems like a mistake, but it, it's certainly in there. He's doing five up, down, up. I'm sorry. Fifth, yeah, up, down, up. Then we have the fifth string open. Strum up. Then back to the third fret. It's kind of weird to hear that A over that C chord. He's just kind of giving us a little taste of that A minor chord to come here in 22. Let's take it from 14. Remember, though, all the tabs are free. Free 
totally free to download at mikesmusicmethod.com. So go do that so you don't have the little thing here. You actually get a big old printout. So let's take it from 14. I'll try to sing it better here. Um, two, three, four. No matter, Lord, where it goes, is always just some guy. So that is that whole intro there. And then the rest of the song is like a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. And let's get to that. I promise there's not too much hard stuff. You're doing great. Verse starts in 22 on an A minor. And he's just got a heavy five. So maybe you're hitting the four with it. Down, up on the top three. Then a heavy six where you may be hitting the fifth string with it. Down, up. And then he does a little walk here in measure 23. It starts the same. And then we have fifth string open up. And then I'm using my middle finger to hit the second fret. Or you can move the whole chord, but he's probably holding it down. So five up. Then I'm using my middle finger to get the second fret on the fifth string. And then it takes us into a C chord. we have that walk down so we've seen both 24 and 25 before and it takes us back to this E chord and I believe it's exactly the same of that little chorus we saw a moment ago yep it's all the same 30 is the same as well kind of like a repeat of the chorus slightly different picking so look at 30 here, 5, down, up, 6, up, down, up, get a quicker up in there, 6, up, down, up, then in 31 it's just 5, down, up, 6, up, 5, slight variation, you don't have to do it exact, I'm teaching it to you because it's always awesome to learn new things very precisely, but if it comes to singing it, don't worry about it, you can just get a cool pattern down and keep running with it, but let's just walk through, make sure we got it, 32, same thing, Then 34. A little bit new. We've got this E7 chord. So it's an E chord. We're putting our pinky down on that note D. And it's pick, down, up, miss, up, pick, up. Might be a little confusing if you're new to strumming. Pick the sixth string. Down, up, miss, up, six, up soon to be released strum it like a cowboy if you're watching this video in the future go to my website and strum it like a cowboy i'm working on a whole book an interactive ebook it's going to blow your mind and it's all about strumming patterns how to do this pick strum concept and different patterns like um uh, you know any sort of right hand technique that you're struggling with I, that's like the whole focus of this book is to have a systematic kind of approach to get you strumming cool stuff. So check it out. If you are really good at strumming, use the timestamps below and just jump ahead to the next measure. But I'm going to take a moment for those who are struggling with picking and to tease the strum it like a cowboy book. All right. So the first thing I would do when approaching measure 34 is forget about those opens and pretend everything's a strum pattern. And actually get a pencil and write out these numbers. We have one, two, and miss, and four. and four and so write all those down and now the miss is really important we're not just missing the sound we're actually whiffing right like you're swinging and you're missing you are whiffing um, on that beat so it's one two and whiff right I'm doing that down strum but I'm just I'm not hitting anything and it's super important to always keep this fulcrum or this pendulum moving up and down one two and miss and four and one two and miss and once you feel good at that, and this, if you're new to this, that might take a long time, right? Spend a couple weeks on that, do it to a quick track, and just get in the groove of all of it. There's a groundhog. Don't go in my garden, okay? Don't do it. Um, but here, now we're going to add the picks in there. So it's pick, down, up, miss, up, pick, up. Measure 
35 is the same. A minor is the same here. We've seen this before. Same with 37. Yeah, cruising through it. This song, in my opinion, I'm, I get a little confused because it's almost like there's two choruses. You know what I mean? You got a the somebody knows part, no matter or if, what, you know, no matter a lore and where he goes, he's always just some guy somebody knows. But then there's that, who's that fella all alone? Um, so I don't know what you want to call a chorus. I'm confusing myself. But that's the part we're on now, starting in 38. And we've seen all this stuff before from the beginning verse, right? It's all very similar. Not too much new material here. That E's all the same. Starting in 38. 6, down, up, 5, up, 5, up, 6, down, up. Then you walk that E into a C chord. And in 46, we go back to the E7. So guys, this is really easy. I'm just going to breeze through it here, 46. He does the same thing with before, but now it's with the E7. And he goes back to the C. Walks that C to the F. Same G as always. Same C. In 53, he always ends the verse like this. It's a little, he puts in a little sus2 chord, a C sus2. So we've got pick the fifth, up, down, up. Then he lifts that middle finger here to open. And it does down, up, and then down, up with it on. So the whole measure, lift it, put it back down. genuine i got the chicken coop in the background and i talk out of the side of my mouth now i really got some country creds here i'm just somebody some guy somebody knows actually i'm from chicago and i i talk like this and i say the bears and i drink a beer and uh, i watch uh, football i'm into the sports you know the cubs the bears i pull the sausage uh, i wear a backpack i wore a backpack when i used to go to school and i'm from chicago all right but I could pretend to be a country guy if you really want me to. Song flow. So after you do that intro, we just repeat like 21 to 53, 21 to 53, and we do that a whole bunch of times. That's like the verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and that takes us all the way to the last one. Boom! Night mode. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to finish the song up. I'm not going to double back right now. Just go to the end for the slow run-throughs, and I'll actually put the lyrics over the singing so when you do it slow then you can kind of get all the phrasing right now we're just bre breezing through it making sure you got all the you know technique stuff down so we do a whole bunch of repeats you know from at the end of 53 all the way back to 22 and that happens a whole bunch and then we have this little tag at the end of the last verse which is measure 54 here where it's some folks got no one if somebody, somebody knows, and some folks lost someone. Um, so that's here, 54, it's just an F chord. Got a big old F. Down, up, fifth string, up, down, up. Big F, down, up, fifth string, up, down, up. Sorry, big F, down, up, five, up, down, up. Big F, down, up, five, up, down, up. I think everything else we've seen before um, 55, 56 is a G with that walk, the C. We've seen that in here. It's what we saw before. Uh, where he does that C sus chord. We've seen all that. Then finally go to the coda. Well, song phone note. <laughs> After that happens, he goes back to measure four in the tab. Remember, the tabs are free to download at mikesmusicmethod.com. And we would do four to nine. So he kind of does that intro verse again as the outro verse. And then after you play measure nine, though, he does, then he just does this little coda at the end, measure 61. So 61, we got a C chord. Then we're hammering on the D string, open to two. Then he does open two on the G string. So C chord. 
note C. It's the first fret on the B string. And then high G, third fret, first string. Then we move it up, third fret on the second string. He bends it. So a bend and release, actually. Then it goes down to the C, first fret on the B string. Then another hammer on on the third string, open to two. And then he does a C chord. So really slow from 61, three, four. I might be messing up the timing there. I'm not sure exactly where he paused it. I'd have to listen again, but. Here's just a slow run. We're going to go from measure 1 to 21 right now. 2, 3, 4... Does it there? I think you guys got that part. Let's do the verse. We won't go all the way to the chorus, but we're just going to go from 22 to 38 here. So we start on the A minor. Two, three, four. Even there, because it, it's not super specific, it's pretty loose. I, I, I missed a couple moments, so don't hold me to it. I know it's not exact, but once you get the feel of it, you can kind of get loose with it too. That was darn close. A couple, you know, different strings on accident there. You get the idea though. All right, from the chorus, this is measure 38, and we'll go to 53 here. Two, three, four. and chorus there are the bulk of it so practice that a bunch here's the tag at the end of the final verse measure 54 and then what we'll do after 54 just so you guys get the feel of it we go to 57 then we're going to jump to four through nine i know this is going to be hard unless you have your tab printed which i always recommend people do i'm like scrolling between two duplicated docs so it's open on <laughs> it's just ridiculous uh i don't know why this song is three pages long but it is. I probably could have did some re more repeat signs in there, but, you know, forgive me. All right, so from 54, 2, 3, 4...
again to 54. goes to the coda, which is measure 59, F, 2, 3, 4, G, 3, then the little fill part. So genuine, I got the chicken coop in the background, and I talk out of the side of my mouth, now I really got some country creds here. I'm just somebody, some guy, somebody knows.